My name is Mfanabasi Omadele. I'm the world superstar. I'm the best trainer. I'm trained and training in the whole wide world. Just watch me. channel my name is Mfona Basi also known as Fona Basi if this is your first time seeing me you're welcome I'm so happy if this is your second time or your third time or you know me in real life what's up I'm glad that you found me worthy enough to return back to my channel to listen to me anyway so today I'm going to be talking about how I got back to my pre-pregnancy weight Notice I did not tell you, I'm going to be telling you how I snap back because I'm sure some of you will be in the comments saying, wait till you actually snap back before you make this video. But then this is just how I got back to my pre-pregnancy weight. So if you feel like my pre-pregnancy weight wasn't the best, that one not for your pocket. This one is just telling you how I got back to what I weighed before. So um, for context, I'm just going to be telling you what I weighed before and during and after pregnancy. So before... I was pregnant. I weighed 70 kg. Yes, you heard right. 70 kg. The day that I was giving birth to my daughter, when I climbed the scale, I weighed 80 kg, 80. And then today, to the glory of God and to the shame of the devil, I weigh 65 kg. Anyways, yeah. So I weigh 65 kg right now. So I'm just going to be telling you what I did and in no particular order. I'm going to point something out and I'm going to say that one thing that really irks me, really grinds my gears is when I ask people how they lost weight and they tell me stuff like, oh my God, I went to the gym six times a week. I reduced my food portions. I was cause I hate that shit. Like I'm expecting to hear that there's one Baba in Ijesha or somebody that will give you two alligator pepper, five white chickens and things like that. If you give it to him, you will rub around your hair seven times and you will lose weight in five hours. Those are the kind of things I like to hear. I like to hear stuff like, oh, there's one street food. If you go inside, you do more There's one, you eat street food, rice and buka stew. It's something you pour you, they wash, you wash you. You poo poo for five hours, and after you're done, you will go back to your pre pregnancy weight or whatever weight you desire. Those are the kind of things I like to hear. And if that's the kind of stuff you also like to hear, you're welcome. You're, you're, you've come to the right place. You've come to the right place. If you've gone through all the numerous videos on YouTube telling you, oh my gosh, you have to take it slow, you have to do this, do that, you've arrived at the right spot where you actually hear the truth on how you can lose weight. I also just want to say that. Um, like you know, my sister said I can never make it in this life as a doctor. So I am not a practicing doctor. I do not know anything about medicine. I don't know anything about anything. So whatever you hear today, take it with a pinch of salt because I am not a doctor. And yeah, so confirm with your doctor before you do anything, before you um before you do anything, I advise here. Just consult to your doctor if you can do it because if somebody did it doesn't mean you can also do it so i'm going to start in no particular order all the things i did so the first thing i'm going to say is number one breastfeeding i know when me my sister-in-law is coming for me in three two one zero and she's going to say oh if you do not have a flat stomach or if you were not fit before breastfeeding, there's no way you're going to be fit. Yes, I agree. She's very right. 100% correct. Yeah, there's no way you're going to magically become whatever, like a skinny person if you were not skinny before pregnancy. But I'm going to say that breastfeeding really did a number on me. Like breastfeeding, just first of all, medically, I don't know the terms. So if you're listening to this, make sure you have Google right next to you or ChatGPT and you're Googling shit as I'm saying them. But then breastfeeding like literally shrunk, shrunk my ovaries. It did. And that's what it's supposed to do. As you're breastfeeding, you literally feel your ovaries shrinking and then you feel like your stomach contracting and all. But then if you have fat over it, it's not going to do much. Anyway, so breastfeeding helped me in losing pre pregnancy weight and yeah that's one i breastfed my son for 12 months i breastfed my daughter for i would say 15 months i think 15 months and some change or a bit less than 15 months and it really really helped me 
So that's the first one. The second one is watching what you eat immediately after you give birth. Let me tell you, I know how I just mentioned breastfeeding and people come and tell you, my mother-in-law came, you have to drink pop four times a day for your milk to flow. You have to do so, so, and so. So many people tell you so many things. Eat this, you know, your calorie intake has to be a lot because you're feeding yourself and the baby. You're doing this and that. You're doing that, 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 that. Don't listen to anybody. Do not listen to anybody. Do what you want to do. And I would advise that you drink a lot of water. Fluids is what helps your body create milk, like you can make milk. I was drinking a whole lot of water. I was not drinking pap. I was not doing any of all these things. I was literally ignoring everybody and drinking just water and eating how I normally eat on a normal day, right? That's pathology, whatever. I was eating normally. I was eating how many times I usually eat on a normal day, which I'm coming to in a second. And I was drinking water. I, was, I made sure that my water intake was a lot. I was drinking at least three liters of water every day. How I was doing it is that I was I had 75 CL bottles because I found that that's the easiest way I could consume water. Like I'll start, the first thing I'll do in the morning is drink 75 CL of water. It wasn't 50 CL. 50 CL is small. If you do three liters and you divide it in 50 CL, that's six bottles. Seemed like a lot to me. I, I, I didn't feel like I was bold enough to commit to drinking six bottles of water every day. So when I did 75 CL, 75 CL is four. It seemed like something I could, I could, I could do, right? So I would wake up in the morning, drink 75 CL. It's not one liter. One liter is a lot. 50 cl is small so 75 cl just seemed like the right balance to just down i wake up when you drink 75 cl that's first bottle gone for the day when i'm having my first meal drink another 75 cl while i'm eating that's 1.5 liters gone already do you understand i'll do my second meal of the day i'll do another 75 cl that's you know you know you know the mass 2.25 liters already do you understand then the last one before i go to bed i'll do another 75 cl and voila you have three liters in a day and you know what that does you know how much milk you produce with three liters of water every day you're literally just going to be gushing gushing with milk like i was literally a milk factory everywhere there was milk everywhere milk everywhere milk everywhere because i was drinking a lot of water so don't let anybody deceive you and tell you oh you have to eat 52 times a day no you do not yeah so i'll insert a video on how much like you see how much milk i was I, I literally had no space in my freezer i had to move some of my milk bags to my mother-in-law's house also had to move some milk bags to my sister-in-law's house upstairs because there was literally no space in my freezer for milk because i was overproducing And this happened twice now for my, my daughter and my son as well so i can tell you that this is proven like it is proven that water fluid actually helps you i guess that's what older people were trying to do when they said you should drink pap because maybe they, they didn't want you drinking plain old water because it was boring maybe they, they wanted you to drink pap so that it would increase your breast it's still fluids anyways but you know what um, pap can do to you it can make you put on a lot more weight than you want to so yeah, um, third thing I would say is how many times you eat a day. So before I got pregnant, I was doing some sort of intermittent fasting. It wasn't very serious, but then I was very particular about what time during the day I eat. Yeah, um, I, I eat a lot. Let me let you know. I eat a lot and um, I eat a lot and I did not stop eating a lot because I was pregnant or I did not stop eating a lot because I had given birth. I would eat one meal or two meals a day. And those two meals were packed, packed as per packed, but then I'll eat it within a time frame. So that helps your body. So how intermittent um, fasting works, like I said, I'm not a doctor, so don't quote me. So I would eat like, if I'm eating by 11 a.m., I would eat a meal that would satisfy me and it would fill me up. And then the next time I would eat would be like, maybe like four. I, I like to keep it within like a time frame so that from four to 11 a.m. the next day, I'm not eating anything. So that's some sort of intermittent fasting. So your body is actually working to help you um, to get burn off fat. I don't know how it works, but yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I was doing. So yeah, I was doing intermittent fasting. I was doing one meal a day. I was doing, and I was drinking a lot of fluids. So that helped. Um, I'll go on to the next point. My next point is rest. Rest, you don't, you don't understand how important rest is till you break down, right? And after you just gave birth, you want to, rest properly when you rest properly you will notice that 
you sleep better and when you sleep better you're not thinking about food if you're up thinking about food and stressing you eat food right but rest if you rest and give your body time to relax and then yeah rest properly you would you would lose a lot of weight because your body just works with you to let go of the fat. That's what I would say. Another thing that I would say is exercise. I know at the beginning I said I'm going to give you fast tips and whatnot, but exercise is really good. And I'm not one of those people that go to the gym and do the most. I'm not. So you, I can also give you like give you an idea on what I did. So I remember that I, I was, I've never been a gym, gym girly. I went to the gym one time this year for one month and I liked it. It was just stressful. The commute, the gym I, I went to, uh, the gym I used to attend was really far from my house. And I really liked the gym. I really liked my trainer, but it was just a far commute for me. Right. But then, um, apart from going to the gym, you can walk around, um, just walk around. Walk, one hour a day is very, very, very good. You would see how much weight you lose. And that's why I do every morning on failing me. I try to run slash walk, brisk walk for one hour every day. You see how much weight you would drop if you do that. And you have to be, you have to be intentional about this walking. You can't walk for one hour and then come back and eat a bar. Do you get what I mean? You have to know that, okay, this is what I'm doing. I'm doing this for this reason. And I tend to lose this amount of weight, right? I remember one time, February, you know, these people that will give you all these motivational, inspire to perspire speeches. One guy was like, oh, it's February and 28 days in February. That's exactly four weeks because it was starting on Monday. The February, it was 2021. It was starting on a Monday. So it was saying that this is the right, like, it's just right that you do something, do it change your lifestyle in this one month let's do a one month challenge so i remember saying oh this february i'm going to do like ten thousand steps every day for the period of one month and i remember i was doing ten thousand steps every day for that one month and guess what i put on five kg because after i would do the one thousand ten thousand steps every day i'll eat a bar after i eat a bar i'll drink pap after i drink pap i'll take pepper soup after i take pepper i'll buy suya so i was doing it most and obviously you i wasn't intentional about losing weight i was just doing it because they said oh let's change our lives inspire to perspire to maguire so i was doing all those things but then i wasn't like i didn't have a goal in mind i was just doing it for vibes and inshallah sake and yeah so you have to know what your goal is your goal is very important so um yeah so after you walk around for one hour be sure that you do not fall into the temptation of eating whatever you want to eat it's what is right it's what would nourish your body it's what will satisfy you at the same time not make you put on weight right so that's what i would say another point i would like to add is belly binding i know some people are against this but it worked for me and like you know my mom is late and i remember when my mother-in-law like immediately had given birth and she brought a wrapper and she was trying to tie my stomach i remember just being sad and being like oh my gosh my mother-in-law is gonna see me naked oh my god i'm so sad but she didn't care and i love that she didn't care because she was like get into the shower she first gave me a hot bath she massaged my body pressed my stomach with like hot towel and all and it was so awkward for me i remember just being there like oh my god she's gonna see my belly button oh she's gonna see that i had this and so before she's gonna see that i i had like a belly button piercing before i didn't have a belly button the devil was just putting things in my head and i was just very worried and but she was very cool about it she did that and i would say that that really helped because in english she was done she tied my stomach to the gods and I feel like that contributed to my weight loss because there's a way that when your body, when your stomach is shrunken, it um, stops you from eating more than you would eat, right? Because first of all, there's no space for you to even put the food in. So as when you think about eating it, you just, you bust the idea. You really bust the idea. So yeah, that's that. And the last point I would like to make is that it's not even really my last point, but I'll just say that you have to involve God in everything you do because there's a way that you'll be doing all these things and you still will not lose weight. There's a way that if you if you do all the things that you're supposed to do, it will not still work for you. So it's important that you you begin with God, you continue with God, and you end with God, right? So before you start this, just ask God, tell God that I want to be a um, baby girl, I want to be a buddy, and in order to be a buddy, I cannot be carrying this weight around and god help me and it would god will help you another point i would say is your diet i mentioned this again is what you eat be sure that you eat the right things and all 
an important point I would like to add, this is a bonus point, a very, very serious bonus point. Don't tell anybody I told you this is a secret. You can't share this anyhow. People pay. People pay to get this information, but I'm going to tell you because I like you guys. You guys are my friends. You guys are my bestie. This bonus point is purging. See, there's a way purging helps your stomach to go back to being flat, flat. There's a way purging helps you. And in order to purge, right, there's things that you can take to purge you. This is not a medical advice, so, so don't go and quote me anyway. But then I have a very weak stomach and anything I eat sends me to the toilet. And because I poo a lot, I feel like that's why my stomach is a bit flat. At the same as my stomach is flat, stomach is flat. Let me actually even show you the stomach set. But then don't, don't insult me. I don't want you people to say, ah, at least you would have waited till the stomach was flat to make this video. But I'm just going to show you. And today is actually not even a good day to show you because I'm a bit bloated. I don't know why I ate, but yeah, I'll just show you what it looks like. So this is what my stomach looks like. Don't mind me. I am climbing the bed. So this is um this is um 15 months postpartum, I believe. Yeah. And yeah, you just keep have to keep trying and trying and trying. You start off not doing the right thing, but eventually you get there, right? You start off, you fail a, a lot of times. The devil will make you feel like, oh, you can't do this. You're going to be big forever. This is going to be your reality. Uh, you know, you're going to, you've lost yourself. You know how people, you know how people um, um, give birth and never lose the baby weight. The devil is going to try and come in your head and tell you all these things. But you have to tell yourself, no, I can do this. And you are a liar. And um, I'm going to trample on you and I'm going to do it. And if you keep trying and trying and trying and trying, one day you're going to get there and you're going to be at a place where you like your weight because I'm not entirely skinny. I'm not even skinny at all. But then I like the weight I'm at. I love I'm, I love the way I look and I'm very confident in my, my body right now. And yeah, so with these few points of mine, I've, I hope I've been able to let you know that you can actually achieve a good body in five minutes if you follow these steps of mine. One thing I would like to also say is that you shouldn't put yourself under any unnecessary pressure. I know this pressure to snap back. Everybody, oh my gosh, you snap back. Oh, you snap back. Don't put yourself under unnecessary pressure. It took you a while to grow that baby, that healthy baby. It's going to take you a while to lose the weight as well. For some people, it's faster. So for some people, it's not. I was lucky enough that I, I think I dropped my baby weight in in like record time like it was really fast because i remember when i went for vacation three months postpartum my stomach was already flat i can insert a picture here for you to see what it looked like but yeah um don't put yourself under any pressure the way to go if you do the right things if you do what it takes and yeah there you have it Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, please subscribe. Do not forget to subscribe. Do not forget to like. Do not forget to share. Do not forget to comment. Please let me know what other types of videos you would like to see. As you can tell, I'm a motivational speaker. I do usually give perspired to, um, inspired to Maguire type of speeches. So if you want to see more of that, just let me know. I'm happy to share. You know, my hobby is cho -cho 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 -cho. all I do is talk. So if you want to hear from me, just let me know. I'll be happy, happy, happy to share. Thank you guys so much as always. Bye. Love you. Love you. Love you. By the way, I'm trying to think of names to call my, my fan base. I have some options. Um, I'm going to put out a poll on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, what are you doing with your life? Please follow me on Instagram. Follow me on TikTok. Follow me on Twitter. Just follow me everywhere. Follow me because, yeah, please. Thank